Okay, you know those little sticky hands? Check out this cool trick. All right, these little sticky hands are really fun, but uh, they're too small. I wanted a bigger one. Years ago in The King of Random, I actually attempted to make a bigger one and I kind of got it to work, but there are some things that I wanted to do then, I didn't have time to do it right, and now I do. So I'm gonna try this again and I'm gonna see if I can make an even better version. Whew, almost got me. Last time I did this, I melted down a little over 500 sticky hands and this time I have a thousand of them. And they're all the same color. <laughs> it's so much better. One of the main things I didn't get to do before was to make a proper mold. I ended up just pouring out the shape onto a counter and I did get something kind of hand shaped, but I really want like an actual hand shaped mold so that when this thing is finished, it like, it looks the part. I measured the volume of one sticky hand, calculated the volume of a thousand hands, modeled a giant hand in 3D software and scaled it to the right volume. The whole hand was printed on the FL Sun V400 printer, which they sent me to try out and I love it. Now that should make an excellent giant sticky hand. Uh, so far this is all just still loosely sitting here. Let's get some glue and put it together. The V400 printer did an awesome job and I was amazed by how fast everything printed. It's also got a pretty big print size and a lot of great features that make it really easy and fun to use. Check the description below to get the V400 printer to start making awesome stuff. I don't know about you, but I think that makes a mighty fine size and shape for a sticky hand. Okay, I'm gonna do some gap filling. There's lots of little holes along the sides and I just need to clean those up enough that I can make a mold of this without the silicone getting inside the gaps. Other than that, we're about ready to proceed. Now that I've filled all the gaps, there's no holes in it anymore for silicone to fit into. It is time to coat this thing in rubber. Look, it's the inside of a cup. It's all clean. Well, there's one layer. Let's do another. A special thank you shout out to all of my incredible Patreon supporters. You guys are amazing. If you'd like to join in supporting this channel, check the Patreon link below. Okay, I am doing a third coat and this one is going to have a thickening agent in it to, to make it so it can stay on the high ridges a little bit better. Which also means it's not gonna spread quite as well and I have to do a little bit more. Now that the silicone is set, it's time to give it a foam shell. The silicone by itself is really flimsy and soft, so it needs a hard shell to stay in the right shape. At this point, all of the foam is uneven, so I'm gonna cut off some excess so it will lay flat. Now to peel this off, it's definitely stuck to this board a little bit. So I'll use a razor blade, try and get under it, hopefully get it all off in one piece. Okay. 
Okay. Look at that lovely mold jacket. Oh. Well, unsurprisingly, the silicone did creep underneath the 3D print, so I have to do some trimming. But that is not a problem. Well, one down. That is looking like a pretty good mold. I might trim open some of the silicone just a little bit more for ease of pouring, but I'm very happy with what we've got here. This is looking like it should work great. It's time to melt down some sticky hands. The mold is ready, it is time to melt the little hands. And uh, this is gonna take a while. What I remember from last time I did this is it took multiple hours and I'm doing twice as many this time, so yeah, it's gonna take a good amount of time. Not to mention, I have to unwrap a thousand of them first. Two hours later. One hour later. All 1,000 hands melted down, unwrapped. That took forever. So close. It's heavy enough that it's just pressing the foam out. Everything is cooled down and it's time to demold, starting with the goo that was left in the pot. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, there we go. Oh, what was that? Okay, look at this. Look at this. Ooh. That's encouraging. <laughs> Face cleaner. I don't know, my face doesn't really feel cleaner. Fantastic. Get out, get out, get out. Let go, let go, let go. Come on, yes. All right, pulling silicone mold off of something gelatinous. Ah. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's perfect. Huh, this side's not very sticky. Oh. This side is stickier. Oh, it's sticky. But it's also heavy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Oh, world's biggest sticky hand. This is fantastic. Oh, this makes my shoulders sore. Quick observation, everywhere that was in contact with the silicone mold, not very sticky. In fact, it's time for a stickiness test. Three pieces of paper. I'm gonna start with the side that was touching the silicone. That's this side. You can tell where I'm pointing, right? Let's see if it grabs any paper. Classic sticky hand test. It flipped over. It's a bad test. Oh, I guess I know if that side's gonna stick. Let's try the other side. Oh, this is, this thing's so big. All right, and... Yep, 
Yep, sticks fueled paper were just great. Boing. Boing. I'm going out tonight, darling. Got my good scarf. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Ow. <laughs> high five. Very powerful high five. I'm so amused with it, I just don't know what to do with it. <laughs> so sticky on that part, yes, but it's also very heavy, so it does kind of just pull itself off after a second. All right, so I was disappointed that the main pad of the hand wasn't sticky enough, so I took a bunch of what was left in the pot, remelted it down, and as a liquid, I poured it over the top of this. I don't know if it's gonna stick forever, but at least for the moment, I got a fully sticky, sticky hand. Oh yeah, that's good, that's good. Let's, let's test this out, here we go. <laughs> Let go of the paper. It's really not that different, but I just like it better because it's stickier now. Let's see if I can sticky the wall. I think I tried this when it wasn't sticky and it didn't work so great, but let's see if it's any different now. <laughs> That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. <laughs> oh, the world's largest sticky hand. Yeah, this thing's fantastic. All right, guys. If there's anything you want to see me do with a giant sticky hand, let me know. Whee!